welcome back to the channel. I hope you all have had a wonderful week. So it is Saturday day, Saturday today. <laughs> so you'll be seeing this on Saturday as well. Um, again, back to normal. So grocery shopping, weekly grocery haul today. Um, so I had to do it again on Saturday because I've been just too busy at work to go after work and with activities this week. It's been crazy busy. Um, Brody is basically in year four this year. So I guess it's fourth grade in America. I mean, I don't know how it works, how it translates. Um, yeah, so he's in year four this year. So next year, because his school's um, a primary school, next year he goes up to a middle school. So this week they've done like tours of the schools and stuff. So we've been touring schools and seeing um, what they look like for next year, et cetera, et cetera. Um, planning for that. So that's kind of been a really busy week every night. After, and we've had parent-teacher conferences at the school this week. So just been wham, bam, bam, bam after school every night this week. So been really crazy busy. So haven't been able to get to the grocery store like um, Friday night or anything because I just was exhausted and we were like, we're just chilling. <laughs> um, so it's just been one of those weeks, which was crazy. So also haven't really spoken to the meal plan as best as we could. So there's been a lot of just what's in the freezer, throw it in the air fryer, let's do like wraps or whatever so haven't stuck to that too much just it's just been crazy busy and I'm sure you guys literally have the same things going on and know how crazy it can get so yes today is Saturday I've done weekly grocery haul so this morning we had a really early um, soccer game with Brody and it's not very nice weather right now big storm had hit, hit England this week and um, so we're lucky because no flooding or anything but it's just been raining loads and cold now so this morning was joyful out in the fields with just pouring rain um but yeah after that we came home and we go, went grocery shopping so Brody came with me brought Madison with me Rich had some stuff to do in the house so it's just easy that way Brody helps me with Madison it's all good so everyone had a nice little trip out we actually got some Greg's um for like a little lunch snack for everyone so finally come home out of the rain so uh, let me show you guys my grocery haul this week. Um, I thought it might be a good idea actually to start telling you guys what I have planned for meals for the week. Um, and then, I don't know, you might find it interesting. Some ideas maybe. I mean, I have a rut with meals. Um, I don't know about you guys. Like, it's hard for me to think about meals for everyone seven nights a week. I mean, sometimes we have takeaways, obviously, and stuff. So it's not seven nights a week sometimes. But also, I do monthly grocery haul. If you've never been to my channel before, I do monthly grocery hauls. So once a month, um, what I'll do is get everything that can last a month. So anything in the pantry, cupboards, freezer, anything that can last a month, I'll usually get those in the monthly grocery haul. Um, and then weekly, I'll do the top-ups of the fresh stuff. So vegetables, things like that, things that we run out of. Um, so when I'm doing a monthly meal plan, it's kind of hard to think of things to... Um, feed everyone and what they're gonna like what you're gonna fancy in like three weeks from now like I don't know you know um but it just helps me stay on budget and stay organized um I keep contemplating whether one month I should not do that and to see do it like weekly um big shops weekly but I don't know I don't know we'll decide we'll see um comment down below if you think I should try it out and see how it goes and if you guys do it that way and it saves you money or you find it easier or whatever it is but yeah, so meal plan this week. Let me um, think about it. Okay, so for this week, um, Monday is stir fry. So I've got the stir fry kit from Aldi, which I put in the freezer and works perfectly fine. And then I just top up with some broccoli. Uh, Tuesday is like a chicken meal. I think we have Hunter's chicken, a meal like that. So Brody won't eat that. So I'll give him chicken nuggets or fish fingers or something like that um, with vegetables. Um, and then Wednesday is sausage. And potatoes so sausage and mash probably um and then thursday is kind of like whatever you can find in the freezer let's put something together because it's swim night that night and then third uh, friday is taco night um and then saturday is spaghetti and that'll do us for saturday and sunday because i'll do enough for leftovers so that's easy and even madison can have that so that's great so now i've told you my menu i will crack on and show you what i got at the groceries today Okay, so you'll be pleased to know that I remembered receipts this week as well. So I've got receipts to tell you guys what I spent. And this week, I'm going to start with Tesco because as you can see, I've got some cheeky little frozen things there. 
So yeah, I'll start with those. So Ben and Jerry's cookie dough and Ben and Jerry's fish food. So I got those for a little treat for us this weekend. Um, they were on club car for three fifteen instead of the usual five pound. I mean, I wouldn't pay original price for these. I'm sorry. They're too expensive, but they're good. Um, and then I got some Madison bits is of course, which is what I usually get at Tesco. These sweet corn and carrot melty sticks, which he likes. Got some refried beans for our taco night on Friday. Um, and then I just got again, a selection of foods. Um, this is a new one that we've never had before. Brody picked it up and thought, well, can I get this for Madison? He wanted to take part in picking. So that's fine. Blueberry and apples and banana with vanilla. We'll see how she likes that. Carrot and sweet corn as usual. Um, a cheesy pasta, which she likes. Veggie and salmon pie she loves. Courgette, aubergine, and red pepper. Um, the piccolos, again, love these, but they're so much more expensive. So sweet potatoes and meatballs. Um, green vegetable. Vegetable, three grain risotto. Sorry, it would help if I could read, right? And then coconut red Thai vegetable curry and spaghetti bolognese. So that is all I got from Tesco. Okay, so Tesco today I spent $24.45. Um, and I saved two pound 80 on club card. So the only things that club card were the one pound 40 savings on each of the Ben and Jerry's. So I saved two pound 80. Um, so those are the only thing that were on club card. So I guess this, the, um, baby event at Tesco is finished because none of those foods were on club card. So 24 pound 45, again, with the beginning of this video in the thumbnail, I'll tell you how much I to totally spent. Um, and also I think I'm going to be over budget this month because I have another week next week to do a weekly grocery shop. And I think it's my budget this week. I've hit my budget this week. I've done my monthly budget with this week's. So not great, but you know, some months are better than others, right? Okay, so this is my Aldi haul today. So I did get a couple things that weren't on the list. Um, yeah, a couple, one thing that prepped for Christmas, which probably won't make it to Christmas because we'll eat them before then. But anyway, let's start over here. So got some nappies for Madison. Um, and then I've got the six breakfast pork patties that we love for breakfast. Um, and then two packs of bacon. We're loving bacon in this house. I mean, every time I say, what does everyone want for breakfast? They ask for bacon. I got reduced salt this week. Um, didn't have our usual streaky bacon that we usually get. Um, obviously we don't need it every day, but we do eat that for nice breakfast. I had to get some meat stirs. They're like the knockoff pepperonis, the small ones that go in Brody's lunchbox. And then, of course, Brody got his lemon and lime sparkling water, which he has. Three usually do them a week. Um, and then I got some milk, the semi-skimmed, and then a Coke Zero back there for Rich for the weekend. Um, I need some more olive spread. I don't know. I've been going through this so quickly lately. I think it's because I've been having a lot of toast. Um, and then Madison's been trying some toast, so... Yeah, we've been eating a lot of toast and butter. <laughs> That's all I can think of. Um, and then some red Leicester cheese. Um, I got her a few bits from Aldi because she did like these when we tried them last week. So spaghetti bolognese and then spaghetti bolognese with cheese. Um, chicken casserole with rice, vegetables and beef casserole and then two pears for her fruits. And then these just apples so they come five pouches. It's just She loves those for like a lunch or a snack. And then five pouches just bananas. So I just stocked up on those. Um, and then I got some Mexican rice for taco night left next week. Um, some sour cream again for taco night. <laughs> um, I got some white sourdough loaf. So that wasn't on the list and it's kind of like a, just a little treat for me at the weekend. I will have that tomorrow morning for breakfast and broadly for lunch as well, <laughs> but it's good. And then I needed some pasta sauce, sauce for meatballs. I just got that tomato and basil. It'll do. I usually have the big jar, but I've cooked spaghetti one again I said we've just been going off meal plan for a little bit just because how busy we were and I think I made spaghetti last weekend so I used my sauce so I got one of those some seedless white grapes which is the family's favorite at the moment and I got some whole almonds and some walnut halves and then this is my Christmas um start for food so I got some mince pies they've all been really good from Aldi never had an issue for the last few years that I've been buying them there's six in there. They will probably go before Christmas. So, I mean, I say I'm stocking up, but they won't last. <laughs> um, and then two bags of our coffee, our house blend, the level three. Brody picked these up, ch um, chive and onion twists. He likes to cheese chips and said, oh, cheese twists. And he said, oh, maybe chive and onion will be good as well. So those, I might pop those in lunch this week. Um, two of the reduced fat hummuses. Um, I got some ketchup. We needed that again, going through that like nobody's business at the moment I don't know Brody's the only one that eats it um I got some toothpaste for me and Rich 
uh, white teeth Colgate and then I got these toothbrushes I needed a new toothbrush but um, they came in a two pack so I just got a two pack whatever um, broccoli for the stir fry to add in to bulk it up a bit I got some pate again again that will go in my sourdough I just have a thing for that at the moment I don't know it's like a little um, favorite at the moment <laughs> some Hovis soft white thick bread sandwiches um, I got myself some lightly salted rice cakes for a snack as well. And then these I got for myself, well, me and Rich will eat these. And I don't usually eat a lot of crisps, but the root vegetables with sea salt, they looked really nice and I've had them before and they're really good. And then of course, last but not least is the mini bananas for Rich and his lunches. So that is my Aldi haul. Sorry, quick break. Cause uh, Madison had woken up from a nap and she's losing her mind. Um, okay, so um, Aldi, I spent 56 pound 99. So a little bit over than what I wanted to, but we're in budget at the moment. But next week when I go weekly, it'll be over budget is what it is, right? Um, doing my best, doing my best, right? And I got a few bits that weren't on the list as usual. So yes, so $56.99 at Aldi and what was it? $24.45 at Tesco. All right, so that's my haul for this week. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys... Um, Maybe got some ideas with meals. I mean, I'm not very good with the meal planning anyway and giving something exciting. So you probably have way more exciting stuff than me. So please put it in the um, comment section and say kind of what meals you think of. And that would be really helpful for me. <laughs> um, but I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for coming and watching the video. Like it, subscribe if you guys like this kind of thing. Um, really appreciate your support. Um, and... Yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Have a great one. Take care, guys. Bye.